Welcome back to The Pickup, Stab and Vans weekly series, taking you behind the scenes here on the North Shore for the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing. I'm here with my co-host, Nathan Fletcher, and this is the last episode of the season. On this week's episode, we'll spend the day chasing waves with Michael February. Tosh Tudor takes us through the entire pickup progressive craft quiver. Coco Ho unveils what's been beneath her feet this winter, and we'll head to the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing Awards ceremony to meet this year's winners. But first, here's a look at what went down in the final days of competition. The Vans Triple Crown of Surfing has finally come to a close. And the winners are, drum roll please. John Florence and Carissa Moore. Wait, why did you hand me the standings for the Stab Surfer of the Year poll? Oh, they won the Triple Crown too. For the second year in a row? Wow, that must be really good. Anyways, congrats to John and Carissa, who came from way back to defend their Digital Vans Triple Crown titles and take home $50,000 a piece. As far as individual locations go, John Florence won at Haliva and Sunset, but lost at Pipeline to none other than Crosby Colapinto. So, how is it that the modern day king of the North Shore and reigning pipe master lost to a 20 year old kid from San Clemente at his home break? If you ask me, it's because John's wave selection is just too good. He gets the most perfect waves that come through every session at Pipeline, leaving little room for shock and awe. Meanwhile, Crosby, as a non-local, is forced to go on waves that either nobody else wants or that he needs to share with friends, resulting in more dramatic and apparently score-inducing rides. John took out his frustration over the loss at Waimea Bay the day after the Triple Crown closed. On the women's side, Carissa Moore won at all three Vans Triple Crown locations, proving that she's the most complete female surfer on the North Shore but also just in the world. She's kind of the best everywhere. But surfers aren't the only ones we celebrate in the Vans Triple Crown. Filmers will also be rewarded for their efforts in this event, and this year, Anna Romano, Lane Stratton, Eric Knudsen, and Guillaume Cruet will be paid thousands of dollars for their hours of toiling in the sun and sand. And the final awards go to the fan vote champions, who are the surfers that you liked the most. $1,500 will be going to the stylish, handsome, and definitely not me Brazilian gentleman, Tomas Hermes, and for the women, Carissa Moore, who literally won every single category in this event. Ruthless. Now, let's go check out a few of our favorite waves from the past few weeks that didn't quite win the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing.